Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And it is cold. It is 16 degrees out here today. We're gonna do this a little backwards. I started videoing some vlog information, but I didn't do an intro. So this will be my Monday video. I had some, I have a couponing I did just a little bit. Um, I went into a store, CVS, and I did one deal last week and I wanted to show you how I stack coupons at CVS. A little bit of cooking. You got to see my messy living room that I'm in the process of tidying, but I need to run to the store real quick before it gets, it's not getting anything. I'm just getting to the point where I want to put my jammies on and start a fire and stay home. But I needed to run to the store, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm in my winter coat, a little story time, because I'm going to share this because there's a whole video on it coming up, but it's going to take a little time to compile all the pieces. This coat, you know, I love a good deal, right? I was on the hunt for a new winter coat, something that fits me a little better, a little warmer. My other one is just not warm. This one, that is not a problem. So, two weeks ago, I was at, yeah, about two weeks ago, I was at Lane Bryant. Um, I shop there fairly regularly. I also, if you remember or don't know, I do test fitting and wear testing for Lane Bryant. Their home office is here in Columbus. Actually, Tuesday, I'm picking up two pair of pants to try. But, so I was in the store, and I know some of the home office people because I'm in there frequently, and I've been doing it for years. And Ashley, if you're watching, hey, girl. Um, Ashley was in there, and I had forgotten that that day they were having an in-store, like, promotion. They're resetting their fitness line of clothing. They're Livy Active is what it's called which I love the stuff. So it's buy one, get one free items and they were doing some raffling and I was like, ooh, buy one, get one free. That's, you're speaking my language. So I had seen this coat early in the winter, $200. I just am not doing it. I can't spend $200 on a winter coat. I mean, I can, but I won't. I knew it would go on sale. And again, Lane Pride's one of those stores I never buy anything whole, full price. I knew it would go on sale, maybe pair of coupon. So I was in the store on Saturday, that Saturday, and it was on sale for $99.99. And I was seriously contemplating because it's a nice, very warm coat. And like I said, I've, I've been needing a new coat. So I was walking around. I picked out my buy one, get one free item because there was a shirt I really wanted, blah, blah. And I was sick. I had that cold. But I was like, I'm sticking around for the raffle. So as I'm in line cashing out, with my shirt and I think I got a sports bra. I did. I was cashing out. They drew my name in the raffle, but I didn't know what I was gonna get. So I was like, oh yay, that's me, blah, blah. They hand me this card and it's $80 of any merchandise I want in the store. Sure did pay $20.02 for this coat that was regularly $199.99. So I got it for 90% off. That is exciting. Sorry, I didn't mean to take my hands off the wheel. That makes people nervous, but I'm fine. I'm stopping. I'm going to be stopped here in a second. So I go home and I take a picture of my coat. I'm stopped. I take a picture of my coat to share with my Facebook friends and family and Instagram. So if you're following me on Instagram, you know this story. Lane Bryant was having, and it's going, it's still going on to the 30th. Um, create your lane it's called it's an online sweepstakes through instagram you take a picture of something you bought at lane brian an outfit or whatever that you put together styled it and you post it and you hashtag create your lane sweepstakes i won i was so excited i won 500 dollars gift card to lane bryant so the upcoming video that i have planned is this is an all-out military like operation how much can I turn this $500 into basically like obviously I, I could go if you've ever been to Lane Bryant I could go in and buy four things three or four items even and that would be my $500 but we're not going to do that I want to stretch it as far as I can 
So I'm excited. One of the, I did already place an order online with some things that I wanted. Um, but so as soon as I collect all of it and I spend the whole 500, I'll create a video and I will show you in the month of January how much money I spent and how much money I saved at Lane Bryant because I have made some purchases as well. So I'll share all that with you. But um, I'm getting ready to go in the store because they were having a sale today and I wanted to see. I'm kind of torn between, I don't really want too much winter stuff, but there's a whole lot of winter left and spring, you know, in Ohio. I can wear lighter weight long sleeve stuff in spring. So we're gonna do that. I just wanna take a pop in the store and see if there's anything good. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Ugh. And my house is kind of a disaster. I have to work tomorrow. Oh, so Tuesday, I was, I digress. Part of my plan from the get-go when I won this card is they, in the fall, I had test war, test fit. So a test fit is when you go in and you try on things and the designer that created the look, created the, the product, the pants, in this case jeans, was is there and you wear them for that person, he, she, whoever is the designer, and they take notes and they look and then maybe it goes back to the drawing board if it's not what their vision was on actual bodies. So they'll call in like five, 10, in this case, I think there was 15 of us in there trying on the same size pants, different body shape situation. And uh, they fit me really well and I was super excited and they're coming out in the spring. So their spring stuff is starting to trickle in. So I was like, oh, I want, I want these jeans. I'm definitely gonna buy two pair of these jeans. Um, they're not, now they're $70 a pair, so I'm like, perfect to have a gift card. And even if I had to pay full price, when you know, girl, when you get jeans that fit, you buy them. So I got an email on Thursday to go in and do a wear test on these jeans. So I will get two pair for free to wear, I have to wear them, I think two times each. I don't know, I get directions. But I have to wear them, wash them, and then report back how they how they function and how they fare washing them and wearing them and all that. So I'm super excited because the two pair of jeans I was gonna get, I got for free. All right, I'm at my stop. Oh, that was a very long-winded intro, but I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. If you do, thumbs up, like, subscribe. Let's get this going. I'll talk to you later. All right, guys, we're at CVS, and this is an example of how I stack coupons and extra care box. This week, Userin is spend 20 on select Userin or Aquaphor, get a $10 register reward. So this is how I do it, and they do have to be eight ounces or larger. So I get a skin calming cream, $9.49, and this daily hydration, ten seventy nine. These are prices in my store. That will get the twenty dollar threshold. So I'm at twenty ish. I have two three dollar coupons, one for each. So that'll take six dollars off. I what have. Are for Gallagher? I have a two dollar and twenty five cent off of ten. That's called a threshold coupon. You can only use one for every $10 spent. So and if I had two, I could use two because I'm spending over 20, but I don't. So 225 off of 10, and that's for that. And then I have here, oops, well I have two of these, $5 rewards. So that's $10. So my out of pocket will be around $2, but we will see. Okay, that was so easy. So I have my $10.79 Eucerin for the daily hydration, my $9.49 for my skin calming. This is what I love because I'm, you know, dry. The total, $9.49, $10.79. If you can see that, come on, come on. There we go. They took off my two $3 coupons, the two $25 off of 10, and then my two $5 register rewards, or ECBs they're called, and you can keep those. They do expire, and I'll show you mine. So the subtotal was $2.03, and then you have to, oh, come on. Why won't you focus this morning? better no okay well anyway 
two dollars and three cents. I paid a dollar twenty-two in sales tax. You do have to pay all the tax. Six seventy-five, six point seven five is our sales tax, and so my total out of pocket was three dollars and twenty-five cents. And here is my ten dollar reward. That next week or Sunday, because it's actually Thursday that I'm doing this. Um, Sundays are a little intense. I'll try to record some Sunday morning and add with this, but. This is what I'll use the next time I go. So you really want to start like collecting and building up your extra care box. Now, beauty rewards, if you're signed up with CVS, for every $30 you spend, you get a uh, $3 extra care box. So I just picked up $6 from last week. You can use those as well. And this goes towards beauty. So I'm not sure what's happening here with my phone, but it's a little confusing. But I just saved 90% on moisturizer and I'm gonna donate it. Uh, my co-worker's church is collecting moisturizers this month and I have plenty so I will give that to her and everybody will be happy. I hope that helps and I will show you, this will probably be in the middle of a video, I need to do my get ready with me, how I find the sales and deals and we'll cover that as well. All right, now while I got my turkey in, I'm gonna run some vinegar through my tea kettle. There's all kinds of um, hard water. So when I do that, I'm gonna let it come to a boil and sit, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is pour it through my Keurig. So two uses for one bottle of vinegar. What you do is you put it in here, you bring it up to a boil, let it kind of sit. And once that has done its job in the tea kettle, I'll pour it in the back of my Keurig and run it through to give my Keurig a good clean too. Um, I have hard water where I live, and so this is important that I do this. And you try to do it about once a month. It's been a little while, but I'll get it done today. So I'm gonna bring this, ooh, it stinks. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and let it get all this calcification that's in the bottom of my tea kettle cleaned. And I have to assume that the same thing is in my Keurig. Alrighty, everybody. We're going to do some cooking. I've got my turkey in the crock pot. And it's... Oh, it's smelling good. Um, back here. And then... Right here, I've got... And getting ready to cook scrambled eggs. So for breakfast, let me show you what I purchased. I need to take them out. I bought these at Costco. These are egg wraps. It's 14 of them. And they were like $11. They're gluten-free, zero-carb, keto-friendly, paleo, ready-to-eat, dairy-free, certified, cage-free eggs. Huh, that's a mouthful zero carbs. I'm going to try making a breakfast burrito. So I want these to come to room temperature so I can wrap them. I'm going to scramble eggs with a little cheese. I'm cooking a dozen. We'll see how many I need. And then I purchased at Aldi some sausage. I'm going to scramble that and then I'm going to mix it together. I don't like cooking it together. I don't, I think it makes my eggs probably just a weird color, but anyway. Um, and then back here, to go with my turkey for lunch, I am boiling some rice cauliflower and I will show you how I make mashed cauliflower. But right now, let's see if this is ready. I tend to do my eggs on like a lower temperature and let them kind of get stay creamy. But I'm gonna need to wash that bowl because when these are done, I'm gonna put them in that bowl and then I will cook the sausages the sausage up and then mix it together and stuff my burritos. Sorry, I'm stirring cauliflower back here. So all I do, I don't, I do it kind of nice and slow like this. And it just like lets everything cook. I don't like it to cook super fast, it dries out. I like my eggs pretty creamy. And I did put a dozen eggs and maybe a teaspoon of heavy cream in here just to give it a little something something. And I'm not going to salt and pepper it because the sausage is going to be pretty spicy and it has a lot of sodium in it. But I will, here in a little bit, drop some cheese in here and let the cheese kind of melt in with the eggs. 
So that's pretty much how I'm doing it. I'm just going to scramble up these eggs and wash and dry this bowl so I can stick the scrambled eggs back in it and then we'll cook the sausage. Guys, am I the only one that lets your house get like this during the week? I have a hundred pair of shoes, my CVS bag, I've got a Dollar Tree haul that I'm getting ready to film, stuff hasn't been put away. This is my living room for craziness and a cute kitty, editing videos, practicing my ukulele. Ugh. All right, we're going to get this room snapped into shape here and everything put away where it belongs. Now, what we're going to do, I have a tea towel here. This is one that doesn't have lint. I get these like 79 cents at Ikea oh, over a strainer. And then what I do is I take my cauliflower water. This has been boiling. You really want it cooked good. And then I... Put it in here it's really hot if you can see so i let it drain and i let it kind of sit and cool off a bit and then i take the towel and i squeeze the water out so i put and a lot of times what i'll do since it's hot but this is how you get not watery um like mashed cauliflower i don't like mine watery either so what I do sometimes if I'm in a hurry or whatever is I just hold it like that because you don't want the, to lose your cauliflower. And then I just take my masher and you see all the water that's coming out. And I just do that. I'll let it go for a little while. And then I just make it like I would a regular mashed potato except for I add a couple tablespoons of cream cheese to make it a little more creamy since there's no starch. You know, in a lot, or not a lot of starch. There is a little, a little bit of starch in here. Not a lot. Um, so I add just a bit of cream cheese, some butter. Sometimes I add ranch seasoning. Sometimes just salt and pepper. This time it'll probably just be salt and pepper. I haven't made my ranch. But it gets all that water out. I'm still going to let it cool because that's as hot. But if you look in here, it is almost the consistency of a potato. You just want the water out. And then I add maybe a little cream back in, a little cream cheese, a little butter, and then I mix it up. With the mixer, sometimes this looks like it's going to mash up pretty good. You could also do it in your food processor. You're not going to get that starchy, sticky potato thing if you over mix it because it's not that kind of a vegetable. So that's it. That is how I make my um, cauliflower mash so it's not too wet. Hi, guys. We are at the end of my night. I am sitting here in my living room editing videos and knitting on a sleeve to a sweater I'm working on, <laughs> or starting, I guess I should say. Uh, so yeah, I hope you, probably out of center here. I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along with me today and um, leave some comments below. Let me know, like, subscribe, share, subscribe. I'm supposed to say that. I never say that, but I'm supposed to. All right, guys. Well, I am going to finish up here for the night, and then I am headed off to bed. Have a good one. Night.